how was a pig heart transplant in a human made possible recently and why did it fail so soon right so people have been uh, trying to i mean testing out various ways of implanting uh, organs from other species into humans in order to overcome the uh, human organ shortage so many people have organs that fail in old age or because of whatever reason hearts and lungs and kidneys and livers and uh, other organs yes uh, so there is a, a high uh, there's a high demand for organs and of course the only way to to acquire organs is from somebody who unfortunately passes away and the organs are still intact yeah or somebody who is brain dead and whose family decides to donate the organs for so for somebody else's benefit that sort of thing but such people are very scarce typically when a person unfortunately passes away the the body decomposes very fast unless you're in a medical environment where the uh, organs can quickly be harvested and saved the organs will go to waste that's how it is unfortunately so a better alternative if it is possible is to find a way of transplanting uh, non human organs into humans uh, but that obviously has uh, lots of uh, problems right because first of all the main problem in organ transplants is rejection our immune systems know what is our own tissue and what is non what is tissue that doesn't belong to us uh, they understand that our, our our immune system understands that even if you get a transplant from another human being your immune system will immediately know that this is not your tissue it's from somebody else and it's going to attack that it's going to regard that as a foreign invasive force it's going to go ahead and try to destroy it and the immune system is very good at doing this it typically destroys organs very rapidly uh, that are that are transplanted from another another person into you or in, into a donor into a recipient from a donor to a recipient so to go to so this is called organ rejection it happens very rapidly and to overcome this problem typically you give immunosuppressant drugs to the recipient which suppresses the immune system which has all kinds of other problems so it's it's a tight rope bal it's a tight rope act that you have to do you should not suppress the system immune system so much that that the person will fall prey to any kind of illness and die from that but also the immune system the immune system should not destroy the organ that you the, the recipient needs in order to stay alive so uh, typically you give certain drugs that suppress the immune system to a certain extent but uh, keep the person reasonably healthy right uh, it's usually a cocktail of immunosuppressive drugs and all that so that's when you have a human to human transplant there is this new process called zeno transplantation so it's from one species to another species now typically pig organs are quite similar to human organs and that's why the people have been trying uh, have been exploring the possibility scientists and doctors have been exploring the possibility of transplanting uh, porcine organs into humans zeno transplantation so initially they did tests on baboons baboons are a uh, species of monkey they are not apes they they are monkeys right yeah so people uh, i mean uh, scientists tested uh, transplantation of organs from pigs into baboons it worked reasonably well then what they did was they tested uh, the uh, the connection of of pig organs like kidneys essentially i believe to brain dead human beings so people whose brains have stopped functioning they they are dead they are in the vegetative state they have no chance of recovery so that sort of thing was tested out and it it seemed to work well uh, the the uh, kidneys of pigs were attached to these human bodies that were no longer viable uh, they, were, they were brain dead and the kidneys i believe uh, functioned reasonably well they functioned well uh, as per expectations they produced urine and all that so that worked now in january 2022 this year there was this person this elderly person in the us who uh, who had a heart that was failing that person was guaranteed to die he had no he had no way out and he was not eligible for whatever reason for a uh, for a human transplant so uh, the authorities uh, gave the go ahead for a zeno transplantation procedure a pig heart would be implanted in that person uh, and this was not any just any regular pig it it was uh, there's this company i don't know which what's the name of the company you can look it up which uh, engineers pigs that are um, that whose genes have been edited so what is done is that the genome of this pigs is edited in such a way that you implant some human human genes in there and you remove some uh, some pig genes so that kind of tricks the human body which will receive the pig organ into believing that this could possibly be a human organ so it's like stealth mode 
you activate stealth mode and you implant the organ in the, in the, in the recipient. So that sort of uh, procedure was done. They raised these pigs that have these mixed genetics whose genes were edited. And then obviously one of these pigs would have to be sacrificed and you remove the heart. That's how it's done. It's sad, but that's how it is. You remove the heart. And so one of these pig hearts was implanted in this uh, person in the US. I believe in January this year, 2021. And it went well. Yeah, the person uh, woke up from the operation. The, the heart was beating uh, as well as could be expected. And and the, the person survived two two months, I believe, before he passed away. And everything was going well. But then suddenly the person started falling uh, ill. He was not well. And uh, what they discovered is that it was not that the organ was rejected. They had given a cocktail of immunosuppressive drugs, I, I think on two occasions to this person after the transplant was done. And his uh, immune system was not attacking the pig organ, the pig heart. It was not rejecting it. What happened is that there was some virus, some pig virus that was present in this organ, in the tissue, in the heart tissue. I think it was called a porcine cytomegalovirus or something like that. I may have got it wrong. That's what this virus was called. Now, they had engineered the pigs and they had given the guarantee, this company, that there would be no viruses, but clearly they messed up. So this organ, this heart, had that virus, the porcine cytomegalovirus. Now, this virus is not something that typically infects human cells. It infects pork, uh, pig tissue. Now, in, inside a pig, these viruses are prevalent and the pig's immune system ensures that the uh, viruses are suppressed and they don't create any trouble. But when you remove the organ from a pig, pig's body, you implant it into a human uh, body, the human body has a human immune system, not a pig porcine immune system. And that's why the, uh, the viruses start proliferating. That's what seems to have happened. So when they finally did the autopsy of the organ and all that, they found that there was an unbelievably high, high amount of virus in there. And that's possibly what had caused the degradation of the organ. It became, um, it stopped functioning as it should have. It, uh, it's, it became, it, the, the walls became thickened and, and more stiff, stiffer than what you would expect and something like that, right? Uh, you can look up exactly what it was. Uh, there's plenty of articles about that. And uh, so that's what happened. So there's a couple of reasons why this could have happened. First of all, the company messed up. The company that produced these pigs had given a guarantee that there would be no viruses, but they, they, they messed up and this virus was present in the tissue. And secondly, the, the immunosuppressive drugs they had, the doctors had given to the person, intravenous immunoglobulin or whatever, it contained antibodies that acted against pig cells. So not only was there the problem of the virus, but the... Uh, the antibodies that were given to the person, the patient, acted against the pig cells and would have possibly damaged uh, the, the heart tissue in some way. So there are a number of reasons why eventually the, the heart failed and the person passed away. But it's not because of organ rejection, which is good news. Which is good news. First of all, this person was as good as dead. He he essentially had no hope of survival, so he was given. He got another extra two months of life. Eventually, this this uh, the heart failed, but it was not because of organ rejection, which is a significant step forward. So, if these problems that arose could be uh, circumvented, firstly by by ensuring the the next heart has no. On, uh, no such viruses and secondly you don't give antibodies that act against pig cells then possibly the next such recipient would have a much longer life and the heart would last much longer so uh, it's it's uh, that's the latest news uh, uh, human organ transplants have been going have been happening for a very long time I believe right now the heart transplant from one human to another from a donor to recipient is a reasonably routine uh, Procedure, reasonably routine procedure. It still has has risks and all, but once the heart is implement is implanted, I believe the average, the median uh, life expectancy of a recipient is about fifteen years, which is excellent, which is an excellent outcome. So that's where we are today. But in the future, I believe xenotransplantation will be worked will be researched upon much further. In the future, you may have such procedures becoming more commonplace. And that would essentially, if that can be perfected, and if you could achieve the same kind of uh, outcome, 15 years median life, uh, life expectancy after transplantation, that would be a massive step forward.
there would be a massive step forward and it would also it would uh, the problem that we face today is this organ shortage there are so few organs available and so many people who need that so that could solve that problem so that's where we are it's a very interesting step forward obviously it involves sacrificing the lives of pigs but well that's unfortunately where where it is that's how it is so that is the news that's what happened that was the story of the pig transplant that happened this year pig heart transplant it failed but uh, it did not fail because of organ rejection it failed because of other reasons like i just outlined so that's the story